Here's our first lesson for September. We're going to be talking about Trek and Adventure and Trust. And we're going to be talking about the story of Joseph throughout this month. So this week is kind of the first part of his story uh, up until the point that he's sold by his brothers. So the first activity here is a review activity, unpacking the story. We have story review cards and they are prepared in these backpacks. So uh, we have, here's an example card. There are eight total cards with a picture that kind of has a recap from the story. Uh, so you just divide your group into two teams and then place a backpack across from each team and then they run down relay race style, dig around in the backpack. There are a bunch of uh, foam circles as kind of filler and then they need to try to find a circle, run back to their team. After they have found the eight review cards, then they need to put those cards in the correct order. And then after that, you can uh, gather them together and go through the discussion recap there on what the Bible story is about. Uh, next activity here is Riddle Walk, and since we're talking about Joseph in this part of his story, the bottom line is when you think you're alone, you can trust God is with you. So on uh, this activity here, you want to give the kids each a, a picture card uh, of a situation where uh, someone in the picture might feel lonely, and then you want to tape it to their back so the kids don't know what card they have. Um, but other kids can see what is on their on their back. And then you want to go through and have them just kind of walk around the room. And then you, f you read one of these scenarios. You may feel alone when someone is being mean to you. And then everyone is going to look at the other person's back. And um, there will be a picture in there that corresponds to that clue. And everyone else is going to gather around that person who has that picture taped to their back. Um, and then the point here is just to kind of show that uh, we need to look out for the people who might be feeling alone and we all feel alone at different times. Uh, so I think that's a really neat application activity. Um, if you want with the moving around the room while kids are just kind of mingling, uh, waiting for you to read the next clue, you might kind of take it a step further here for variety, lead kids to trek in different, in different ways. You might encourage them to pretend that they're rock climbing or snow skiing, rowing a boat, things like that. Just uh, get the kids to use their imagination as they're kind of moving around around your group space, uh, waiting for you to read the next clue. Uh, last activity here is ever-present prayer. This is another activity where it's going to put some emphasis on us feeling alone at times. Uh, it's not an if, but it's a when we'll feel alone because we all feel that way. So when you think you're alone, you can trust God is with you. So you're going to have all the kids uh, gather in a circle, but they're going to face outwards. So everyone has their back toward the middle of the circle. And then invite kids into the middle of the circle one by one. And as a kid goes into the middle of that circle with everyone around them uh, standing with their back to them, then you tell that kid in the middle, when you think you're alone, you can trust God is with you. And then they'll switch out with another kid. So everyone has a turn standing in the middle of the circle, um, being that alone person. And then after you go through that and everyone kind of has a taste of that, gather your group together, have everyone in the circle kind of spin around. So now they're facing in inward. And then uh, read through this uh, Psalm 139 summary here. Uh, as, as a prayer over the kids in your group. Lord, you have seen what is in our hearts. You know all about us. You know when we sit down and when we get up. So this is a really beautiful prayer, um, just reminding us of God's presence in our lives even when we feel alone. So I think that'll be a really great way to wrap up this week's lesson. Thanks so much.